coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. And we're sitting there and we're like, what just happened? Well, we're having fun. That's the main thing. Okay, <sighs> hold it in the middle. Uh, the left, your other left. To the right, just put it in the center. Uh, there. Uh, Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week, well, I, I found new land. You know, Newfoundland. Newfoundland? Found new land. Okay, this week, Ralph is heading up with Josh. You guys yep. are going up to Efforts Hunting. Yep, to Bob Efforts, which we've, I mean, we we have done phenomenal. Had yeah. phenomenal success Moose, all caribou, the years up there. Every time you go up there. Now, a couple years ago, I went up there with you. Yes. And we had horrible weather. It and was, that, that was that but, hurricane, not the hurricane. Yeah, the, there was a hurricane. Yeah, a hurricane. It turned came into a tropical through. storm, and so, I mean, it was kind of crazy. And but, since I've gone, we didn't have that. So, obviously, no, and you went, there's and an issue. So, this is what we're going to show this week is when you went last, it could be me. Who knows? What the heck? I don't know. But you had a lot of fun up there. Oh, loved it. Loved Can you understand them when back. they talk all the time, though? Yes. They, they, they talk like you do, like fast, and I don't understand it all the time. <laughs> so that's why I'm fine. I found new land in Newfoundland. Is that uh, where you're going? Yes. All right. Well, Bob hey, Efforts, let's baby. head up to Bob Efforts. No hurricanes. Let's go. Not there. He's just saying I'm really windy. Yeah, you're full of wind, all right. <laughs> <laughs> After unloading the plane and taking gear into the cabin, Ralph needs to take care of business to make his hunt legal by filling out his licenses and tags. After all the paperwork is done, the guides tell Ralph that they've been seeing some moves from one of the vantage points across the lake. We got into camp, got all situated. It's been a, boy, it's been a while. Got in here this morning and it's late afternoon. And all we're gonna do is the guys said that they'd like us to maybe just take a ride and we're gonna take a ride in the boat and maybe go to a point and look out. Well, our first afternoon here with Bob Efforts and we, uh, we hiked up to the second lookout point, but what a beautiful lookout, check this out. We haven't even been here for 10 minutes, and we got a cow and a small bull. We're just gonna try to meander through and see the wind's in our favor. And the boy said, let's try for it. Now we're not hunting it, but we're gonna try for it. Get close. The day ends on a high note, and Ralph and the guides head back to camp, anticipating great things tomorrow. The morning breaks. Ralph and the guides take the boat across the lake to their lookout point. Making the long hike to the top of the hill, the guys settle in to start glassing as the wind starts to pick up. Well, we got up here on the second lookout point, 
and Matt actually spotted three big bulls all in velvet. We're here in the early, early September, so it's it's not even a pre-rut situation yet. All three bulls were together. There's a cow and calf in the same meadow, just down probably 150 yards. Oh my gosh, this place is incredible. This place is just wild. You know, being, being there in Newfie and, and to experience it and, and to have all of your rolling contours and I mean, it just, it's incredible. I mean, you have your boreal forest, you have, you have areas that you just have that feeling that maybe no one has ever walked. And that's what the true wilderness is all about. Without much to show for the first full day of hunting, Ralph and the guides make the long hike back down to the boat for the ride across the lake to a warm cabin and a great meal. Ralph has brought his inReach to keep up with the family and the latest scores on RJ's football game. Two minutes left in the first half, still zero to eight. Uh-oh, Jared Kimball just got hit hard and taken out of the game. Jaden is out for six weeks. It comes every couple minutes. Jared Kimball is back in the game. You know, as parents, you want to try to still stay connected and, and staying connected with your family and friends. You know, more so the family it is so important because of what we do and how much we're gone. And, and I got to tell you, it hurts. It really hurts that, you know, your son's playing a football game and the only way you can, you can know what's going on is through your inreach. But... Thank goodness for inReach, because we, we, we I wouldn't know what was going on. Yep. Ralph and the crew are out on the move once again to make it to their vantage point by first light. Being there when the animals are most active will increase your odds of seeing the animal and having time to make a stalk before their activity levels start to decrease. What's the plan? After Tyler gives Ralph the game plan, they quickly start moving up the hill and away from the lake to get to a meadow where they saw moose and caribou the day before. You know, the bottom line in Newfoundland is, you, I mean, you're gonna hike. You're gonna walk high, you're gonna walk low, you're gonna walk through bogs, swamps, water. I mean, you're, you're gonna do whatever you need to, and that's what we do. Don't get caught up in going, oh, this is killing me, or this, or this. Man, just look at it and say, you know what? going to get through this. Whether the weather or whatever it is, there are things that you cannot control. And if you go there and you have a great attitude, guess what? No matter what, the hunt is always going to be successful. Well, you can see we just hiked a little longer than we thought, but it was a good, it was a good walk. We saw a, a cow caribou, a cow and calf moose, and now we're waiting for Matt to pick us up. And Josh looks beat too. Look at that. Yeah, Tyler's wearing us out for sure. I wouldn't want to make him mad. Let me beat him with this camera. Matt picks the guys up and makes the journey back to the cabin by sundown. The forecast today isn't really good. We've got fog coming in. we got rain and Tyler and Matt said, you know, when you get those south winds, is something's coming in. And lo and behold, we got them. Okay, this morning we got a south, southwest wind blowing in. The fog's coming in. It's getting, uh, not the greatest day for hunting, but uh, we want to get able to take a look anyway. Uh, fog is very scary stuff out there. You want to make sure you know where you're tuned. You get turned around in the fog out there, you could be lost for days. Ask anybody that has been lost in the fog, it's not a good experience. Well, we're trying. We know a front's coming in, but we're trying to get it before the front, trying to get some type of honey hunt in today. Uh, we know there's rain coming and everything. We got a south southwest wind. We're just gonna come up here and we're gonna hunt that back like that way. You never know what's gonna happen. The crew makes the long trek to the lookout point, hoping that the fog will break. 
fog and inclement weather is to be expected on adventure hunts like this, but it's important to stay upbeat and optimistic. Oh, the fog, the fog. It's one of those days eh, when you don't know exactly uh, what to do, you know, if the fog is going to lift or if it's going to just gonna stay. Thinking there's no way that the fog will lift anytime soon, the guys head back to camp. And after a short breakfast, the sun breaks through the fog. But the wind is starting to pick up, so they decide to try to get in at least a couple of hours of hunting before the lake becomes too dangerous to cross. Well, the weather broke. We were in camp, what, about 30 minutes, 45 minutes? And believe it or not, it, we got, when the sun hit, it burned up most of the, the fog. And we know there's a storm coming, there's rain, but we're going to do with what we got. What bull? Little bull. Four pointer. We got, a, we got a real small bull just down here in this little draw right there. Well, the guys, we just climbed all the way up, made had a little lunch break, and all of a sudden, Tyler goes, hey, Ralph, come here. So we all went over there, and you could just see on the horizon, just a set of antlers, just a set of antlers. And we all agree it looks like antlers. Now, when we get there and it's a tree, we're cutting it down so nobody makes this mistake again. <laughs> and if it's, a, if it's a set of antlers with the caribou with it, yeah, we're going for it. You know, on any hunt, what you're hoping for is opportunity. And believe it or not, when you go with efforts, you'll have multiple opportunities. And we did. I mean, we saw moose, we saw animals every single day. And I mean, you have to seize every moment and every chance and every opportunity. But sometimes it's gonna work, most of the time it isn't. But if you don't do it, you never know. Nice caribou. <laughs> he did, he covered a lot of ground. We totally lost him. I mean, we lost him and Josh all of a sudden tapped me and there he was, he was way over there and he just saw us and he booked. That was the biggest caribou we've seen in the past three days for sure. He was beautiful. This is a woodland caribou and that's what you come here to Newfie for. Well, we figured we'd lose the day and we didn't, but trying to get back to camp, and it's pretty rough. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're having fun. That's amazing. Yep, white caps, and when you only have a six horse motor, yeah, it makes it a little tough. Four days of no shot opportunities has the crew loading up and heading to another camp. A hot meal and a good night's sleep is all the boys need to give them the strength to get up in the morning and head out across a different lake to see if they can find a moose or caribou. Good morning. RJ was good football last night. He likes middle linebacker better than tackle. Nani's going to the game today. She's doing great. Her attitude is much better. That's awesome. You know, it's a struggle for me because, you know, your ma my ma's at home. We're dealing with all this breast cancer stuff, but it's hard because this is what we do for a living, so we have to be away from our family. We got in their new camp last night, and I mean, we, we just got up, we're get, going to check things out, and lo and behold, Tyler spots a stag caribou up here, which you know is a bull. So we're gonna go and we're gonna check him out. 
you know, listening to Ty and Matt and you watching and, and all the, str we, we strategize and we're trying to figure out, you know, the, the best, best approach and all this. And what we're doing is we're trying to get a better visual. Tyler wants to get to that rock, but instead of us all going together, we're going to go individually so we have the least amount of getting caught. Well, you know, we just got up on that stag and, and everything was working right and he ended up betting on a rock ledge that absolutely, it eliminated any cover for us to get any closer. And you know, like, like Tyler said, is, you know, don't push him. Well, as we backed out, lo and behold, they spotted more caribou down low and they were, we actually saw them splashing along the bank. Well, what we figured, you know, we figured either a predator was chasing them, which coyote or a bear, or, I mean, the bugs. And lo and behold, it was the bugs. So we watched them. Our wind was blowing to them. But I think the bugs were so bad that they actually just put the wind to, against them and they just said, hey, listen, I'm getting in the water. So we stood about, you know, knee high in the water. The other younger bull just kept running back and forth. We watched him for a long time. and then tried to anticipate his movement, which is impossible, because you can't think like an animal. So all of a sudden, we realized that he started to slowly work his way up the bank. And, you know, Ty and Matt, with their experience, said, hey, look at that little opening. He's probably going to go up there. He slowly kept coming. He went up there, stood there, fed, started to come down. And then, he, I don't know what made him just, he turned and he started to go back up. I ranged him again. Well, hauled back and he gave it to me. He spun and he comes running like right to us. And the caribou just started running right towards us. Jumped in the lake and come barreling across the lake like he was coming right at us. And we're sitting there and we're like, what just happened? And I mean, it was over. That was what it worked out perfect, man. That worked out perfect, brother. Thank you. <laughs> we had this bull, he was coming across this creek. We're on the other side and he went up the bank. And we ranged him, and I stuck him, and he was co slightly cored in a way that arrow went right in. I, I mean, he went, it, he come right back at us. And Tyler, Tyler and Matt got him. Look at this. This is it, man. It's, it's my first woodland caribou. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Thank buddy. you. That was, you know, as usual, that was a great hunt. And I mean, it was. I can't believe how many animals you see. Well, you guys saw bobs. so I mean, many moose. I think the one day, what did you say? You saw 20, 20? 21 moose. That's a lot of moose. And then you got to go and hunt the woodland caribou, which was really yes. cool. And you like floated my up first, on them. I mean, that was pretty cool was, too. Yeah. I was pumped. That I was really awesome. Was. And, and I mean, it just worked out. It was just awesome. It is. And, and now maybe. You seize the moment and I seized it. So maybe this fall, since you went last fall, maybe this fall I get to go. Because I want to go by Bob's again. I only went once and it was a hurricane. Can I go? Sure. Yay. Bob, I'm going to apologize now because uh, probably another hurricane or typhoon or something else will hit because it's she's not going. true. And honestly, you know what, Bob, I want to thank you up there, Bob Efforts, for actually, for a great place and all the game and everything awesome. and getting Ralph out of the office for a week. I mean, it's amazing. And all of us back at the office really appreciate what you do for us. You know what? We want to thank you for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel.
right here on the Archer's Choice. And Bob, thanks again. We really appreciate it. What? You don't, guys don't like me in the office?